many in Malaysia and abroad, it's a shocking sight. Riot police, some with canes, others with automatic weapons, stand guard in front of the courthouse where former Deputy Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim is on trial for alleged corruption and sodomy. As world leaders descend on Kuala Lumpur to talk trade at the APEC summit, the government here is not taking any chances. It's warning demonstrators that they need a permit to protest. 5,800 officers, meantime, are on standby in case of trouble. It's unnecessary to have so many police personnel there. It's really a form of intimidation. Despite the beefed up security around the conference site and courthouse, life in Malaysia's capital appears otherwise normal. The country's main human rights group is holding a forum this week and notes a rare change. Police have not interfered. I'm not convinced that they've matured or they've changed their mindset or their way of thinking. I just think that strategically they decided that if they did anything to this, there will be so much bad publicity. Government officials dismiss fears of widespread unrest during APEC, saying during Malaysia's last international media event, the Commonwealth Games, thousands gathered without incident. But critics suggest the worst is yet to come, with a crackdown taking place after world leaders leave. So I think there's general concern as to whether uh, a president that is allowed before the storm. He knows of me. I'm one of his deputy ministers. Fong chan on is a member of the ruling coalition. The deputy education minister insists recent unrest caused by the Anwar trial has not affected government stability. For the politicians uh, like me, might be we find that it is harder on our jobs, that uh, we have to perform even better, that there is no security of tenure. I mean, that is always uh, what we believe, but certainly it brings much closer to home. But human rights groups here are bracing themselves for more of this on the streets. They believe there are parallels to 1987 when a clash within the ruling party led to a crackdown on newspapers and critics. Ray Rudowski, TVB News, Kuala Lumpur.